Greetings, gamers! I bring very good news today and a great update that I know you just can't wait to hear about. Hello everyone, thank you for viewing my video. Uh, I'm going to jump right into this, but yes, I plan on switching from streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time to just Twitch. There's a bunch of reasons for that. I'm going to go into it, obviously. I'm going to go over my concrete plan. Um, but first of all, I'm going to go with why I'm going to be doing this. So, over the past two years, my channel, this channel, has been mostly dead. And while you could be like, oh, Chris, you still you get a lot more viewers than I would. Um, just to give you some perspective, <laughs> if you want to take a guess at how many subscribers I've got in the past two years. Go on, I'll wait. Okay, that's right. I got negative two subscribers um, <laughs> in February of 2018. According to Social Blade, which charts out everything for you, I had 8,572 subscribers. Pay attention to the 72 part specifically. In the month of March 2020, two years and one month later, I have 8,570 subscribers. That's a grand total of negative two for the past two years. It's wonderful, I know, amazing. And while that number has like, I haven't just like gotten two, like I haven't just gotten like negative two, it's gone up and it's gone down, but this is my grand total over the past two years. So regardless, no matter how you look at it, those are very bad numbers. Um, so I'm gonna change, I gotta change plans a little bit. I gotta make risky jumps, which are very scary to do, but I feel I got to, I can't just keep sitting here and doing nothing about it. I gotta do something right because I would love to grow my channel I'd love to grow my stream. I would love to grow in general So I gotta kind of make risky moves and um, as scary as it is to maybe lose the few beers I have uh, It's something I think I need to do um, so I think it'd be better to just um, put all my resources into streaming to one platform Instead of having, let's say, three viewers over on Twitch and five viewers on YouTube, how about we combine those numbers and get like seven to ten viewers? Because even though that's such like a small difference, it can help a lot in the long run. Um, you know, the more viewers you get, the more you know people could trickle in, and we could grow from there. Um, so I think the smart thing to do there is to keep my numbers together and uh, try to solidify that and have it. Uh, like a solid thing because the thing is a lot of people come to my twitch they'll watch it and you know they'll be like oh everyone's shy on youtube and then they'll come over to my youtube instead or just leave completely because there's no one else is talking on twitch so i do like i feel like people feel like they're you know they're separated too much so i think i gotta put those people together youtube honestly feels pretty restrictive to me because essentially what i do right now is i record live let's plays i will start a timer for five minutes my first time my stream and they'll just jump right into like let's playing um let's say we're playing new horizons for like two hours and that'll be it sometimes they'll deviate a little bit like let's say someone sends me a video like chris you need to watch this and sometimes i'll do that like i'll watch on stream but for the most part they're just live let's plays um i want my streams would be a bit more free flow. Maybe we start the day off and I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I'm like, hey guys, what do you want me to do? And then someone sends me like, uh, Chris, watch this video. Chris, look at this meme. Chris, take this stupid little personality quiz thing. Um, and uh, I think that would be a lot more fun to do. Um, some of my favorite times, honestly, are when I would do my horror streams. I, would, I wouldn't have like a timer for that. I would just kind of start it up and I would just talk to you guys. And sometimes I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna do this for five minutes. But then I'll look at my timer and I was like, oh my God, I've been talking for a straight 30 minutes. What the hell? <laughs> I'm always surprised at like how well that goes. So I think just being able to do stuff like that would be very nice. It'd be a lot more like fun and free flow. Um, and just, and also want to like do more events. For example, the first event I'll be doing to celebrate um, is our switching to Twitch will be on May 2nd. Uh, I am going to be playing Super Mario Maker 2, and every time I die, I'm going to take a pair of clippers and shave a part of my head. I gotta do the quarantine cuts, and I'm also going to include, like, the facial hair, too. Maybe I could be, like, let you guys choose how I, like, shave, like, what part of my hair do I shave off? But I think that'd be really fun and really stupid, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, and additional events. Maybe we could do, like, a cooking stream. Maybe we could just, like, watch memes for two hours long. Maybe we could, like, look at, like, I have a bunch of old drawings in my storage space I haven't looked at in, like... 15 years maybe we could like pull that out maybe look at old embarrassing baby photos of myself that kind of stuff i think would be a lot more fun to do and can only be a thing if we do this more like free-flowing streaming thing there's also like the benefits of just twitch itself um so for example uh on YouTube, people can become members of my channel. They can pay me five dollars, and they get their name turns green. They get a little badge beside their name, and they get access to like um, cool emotes. 
uh on twitch though like there's no way for me to be able to gift members on youtube but on twitch though let's say uh there's the same thing as youtube memberships except they're called subscribers there uh which is the same thing you give me five dollars and then you get um you get a cool old badge besides your name and you get access to a bunch of emotes um but the difference is on twitch i could give those to you i could essentially pay <laughs> pay myself <laughs> i get I'm, I'm paying twitch money i guess to allow you to become a subscriber and then you get access to emotes and stuff so like let's say someone can't uh they can't like pay for a sub for me and they still want to like kind of show support for me they could just, like win like a contest or something well like let's say we play like a game um uh and then and they win it and then it's like all right you get a gifted sub and i, I essentially pay twitch to give you that for a month uh, there's also channel points which are completely free you literally gain them just by sitting in chat and you just slowly get them and you can sometimes go a little treasure box and it gives you like extra points and you can spend that on stuff like let's say um let's say you save 100 points and then you you uh you use those points and i could give moji a treat let's say you shave a thousand points and you click the button to i get the half now shave my head let's say you save up ten thousand and now you're mod for a day maybe i follow you on twitter maybe you time out a viewer for fun maybe it's a discord call maybe it's a free subscriber there's a lot of things we can do with this none of this is really set in stone they're just kind of ideas of kind of like snowball a little bit and we could talk about this once we start transitioning over but that's just like some really good things there's also another thing called crowd control which allows you to interact with the stream um for example there's one where um it allows you to click wherever you want on the screen and then like little bubbles show up show up like someone clicked here and then someone clicked here and like you could use that to like vote on things you could do that to like mess with me there's also additional things like let's say i'm playing a compatible game with that and then you could like you could you could like make me die in the game or like make my head turn small or or stupid stuff like that so it's just there's so many like additional features on twitch than there are on youtube and i think that would be um it would ju it's just so much more like organized like youtube streaming has been pretty much completely abandoned by youtube um it while well, it used to get updates it hasn't in like years they even like they got rid of youtube gaming which was the strict streaming section of youtube so streaming on youtube has pretty much been abandoned so how's this gonna work starting on may 2nd i was initially gonna <clears throat> so how's this gonna work i was initially gonna start this on may 1st but uh may 2nd is a saturday so instead i'm gonna do this on a saturday where um that will be when i start disabling chat on youtube uh, what will happen is throughout the entire month of May, the chat's going to be disabled. However, I'm going to be still streaming to YouTube, but the title is just going to be something like chat on Twitch. And it's going to look like Twitch URL or something like that. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, but all through May, I'm going to be doing that. And then starting June 1st ish, that's when streams are going to stop altogether on YouTube. And I'm just going to be completely only streaming on Twitch. This, why am I doing that? Um, it's good. Streaming on YouTube for the month of May with disabled chat is going to give people time, I think, to be able to switch to Twitch. Hopefully a month is enough. If not, then, um, well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll give people enough time to switch on over to Twitch if they want to come over there. And, and then after that, what's going to happen is the vods the i'll be uploading to youtube after the stream's over for example let's say um an hour into my stream on twitch i will then start playing new horizons i will cut out the new horizon section and i'll upload to youtube as part 35 or you know let's say like hour four and a half into the stream i'm playing super mario galaxy 2 i'll cut that out and be like oh here's super mario galaxy 2 part 17 etc i don't know what i'm gonna do about the live stuff um because it's a big thing i want to do this is to be able to have more freedom right but i can't really up uh i can't really um upload uh that stuff to youtube completely because that could get me in big trouble he get me copyright strike and i don't want to risk my 8500 subscriber channel getting deleted because of that and that's like a big reason why i'm switching to twitch too like i said for the freedom to be able to watch stuff without having without having to worry about copyright so i don't know maybe eventually i'll do something where i start uploading my uh my complete vods to like a completely new channel i don't know if that'll ever happen or not um i wish i could do that i would really love to archive everything but i don't really see a way to do that twitch deletes your streams after i think it's like a month um maybe even 15 days for me since i'm i'm not even affiliate yet in addition to all this I also would love to implement a permanent schedule. I don't know how I want to do that yet. I've kind of kind of had a schedule over the past couple of years. Uh, I generally try to do Friday at 7 p.m. Central, um, Canadian Standard Time, uh, Saturday and Sunday starting at uh, midday at 12. 
I would love to be able to do a thing where if I'm late to any of these streams, I then have to like spin a wheel and whatever it lands on. Like that's my punishment. I think that'd be really fun. Um, but I don't have any concrete plans with that yet. Um, there is like a way to actually have like a set schedule on Twitch. So once I do that, I will do that. But the thing is like generally weekdays are a lot more difficult for me to stream on just because my schedule and life is just kind of complicated especially my work my work doesn't always work this time to this time sometimes it's actually a lot of times it's like chris you gotta stay late it's like poopy so that obviously kind of hurts streaming a little bit for me but um i don't know i would love to implement a schedule eventually i've been trying to do this for years but it's very difficult for me to do but anyways that is my update i really this is a very scary thing for me to do obviously um abandoning youtube essentially to go to twitch but uh, i hope you guys understand and i hope you guys follow me over and um embark on this new journey with me uh i gotta grow i can't just stay stagnant forever i gotta do something because if i don't well i'll be left in the dust forever um but please 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 follow me if you can i love you all very much have a fantastic day and i'll see you whenever i see you get out of here leave get out get out now bye